Hello everybody, I'm Matthew Snow and Samurai Hex and welcome back to another episode of the Manager of Legends Journeymancy with me, Matthew, and our manager, Neil Brannan. Now we are here for the final game of the league season as well as a cup final on the 1st of January and as you can also see we're now three and a half star on the reputation because we've just completed our Continental Pro license. So I'm expecting the big clubs to come in uh, uh, and I'll finish job interviews soon. But we still have a job to do at FC Tokyo. But before we get into the results and the transfer since last time, why don't you give this video a like? It does help the channel out immensely and you do help support the channel by liking, by commenting and subscribing and hitting the bell for mobile notifications. Doing all those sorts of things will just support the channel get to more and more people and yeah it'll make me very very happy and if this is all correct then this is the first episode of the new year and the first episode since my little break uh while well, i was just having a break for the holiday period so yeah hello welcome back me but yeah we've had a few transfers since last time which of course the summer window happened uh, who has joined, who has left, well, we'll see now. So first off, Philip Clevin left. He was unhappy uh, about not playing enough. So I said, okay, I'll sell you. And yeah, um, he was ended up, he ended up getting sold all the way back to Germany uh, to 1860 Munich. Um, Ida was loaned out to Yamaguchi. Vegeta was loaned out to Nagasaki. Kamiya was loaned out to Matsumoto and Amori was loaned out to Minabia Mitsumi and then the players that joined quite a lot of them actually uh, much more um, much more active in this window than we were you could say in the last one considering the players we did sign but then three of them were threes <laughs> and two of them were expected from before the start of the season so Form because there were pre contract deals and all that stuff. We are first supposed to Jones Patrick Gustafsson, a Thai Swedish player, and uh, comes in as a regular star, but he's hardly played at all. And even when he has played, he's not been the best. Uh, I think he's a fringe player at best, in all honesty, so he'll probably get unhappy with me soon enough. Alfie Gibbons comes in from Lokomo, I think it's. Lokomotiva in um, Croatia, uh, Canadian Croatian, two star current ability, four, three and a half star co a, a potential ability, so he'll be very good. Jasper Schlendelar joins us as our now main choice goalkeeper. The press came in and said, What do I need in terms of positions? And we had recently just let. Um, Clevin guy, so I said goalkeeper because we only had two, and yeah, um, probably needed a third. And Derek Football went in for this guy, Slendler, Dutch player, three and a half stock on ability, and he's now our important player, uh, our first choice goalkeeper. So he's only been with us half a season, and Broderson has already been dropped to regular uh, to cup goalkeeper. Even if he is still classed as first choice goalkeeper, because I can't edit all that stuff. It's not in the rules of the save, so I can't do that stuff. Then Yuya Sugi joined us, 3.2 million rather than 3.6. He's our main choice left back. Um, probably going to be a rotation option with other left backs to be honest because I do like rotating my players and he's not the best on the call current ability and all that stuff so yeah uh, a bit overpriced for 3.2 million for say 3 star I was expecting 3.5 star 4 star for that much especially from another Japanese team where they do tend to oversell them uh, undersell them I mean so yeah Satoshi Araba has joined us uh, one uh, half star, two and a half star current ability. He comes in from Nagano of all teams. Um, he actually didn't play for me uh, under me, um, but was 
loaned out in the season we were, yeah, I think in the season we were in um, the J1 League. So he was loaned out to the J3 League, played a few times in the J1 League for Nagano one net. We had left and he's played a few times in the J2 League. So he comes in, uh, could be good, probably not going to be good in the last day. Uh, another player that's joined us, Kurohara um, from Urawa. Comes up for £325,000 or something to just under 900000 He looks so much better player than uh, Haraiba. Um, and he looks like he might actually get to that um, current ability. Um, Sato, also another youngster, is coming from Mabari. 250000 rather than to Um In Mabari, I think, or a J2 League side. Yeah, they are. And he's playing quite often for them in the past three seasons after being signed from Oita. Uh, so we have signed him and hopefully he'll get to his potential ability and become a crucial player to us. More things that have happened, we've got two players leaving at the end of the season. Cho Yu Min who's now been dropped to the reserves because he's been not really been playing and he's also been a great team and the terms with Guangzhou. He'll be leaving back to Korea uh, at the end of the season. And Kaya Shihashi, who's also, also another player that's been dropped to the reserves. Um, he's leaving uh, on a free to Yamagata. Yamagata being in the J2 League. So they were all the signings. What about the results? Well, since last time, which I believe was the Kashima win and the Shonen draw. I think it was that. I remember playing those two together, so it must be that. But then again, I did play them there, but I'm pretty sure it's not that. <laughs> um, but yeah, but since we played them, we played Tokushima, beat them 1 0. Kyoto, we won 3 1. But then unfortunately, we lost 6 2 on aggregate. Uh, 6 2, I mean, on a wave against Sendai, who were in the J2 League, were clearly utterly thrashed. Um, so if you could hear that, I just banged my um, laptop. Um, but yeah, we completely thrashed because of that. We were knocked out on uh, aggregate from the J League Cup. So, once again, we didn't do well in that league in that round uh, in competition because we were expecting quarter final. We didn't get to the quarter final. We played Tempesta, who are a let's see, uh, prefecture league side. Uh, we beat them 11 0. Very good result there. Then played Chiba and won 4 0. Tokyo Vierde, we won 4 1 in the third round of the Emirates Cup. The fourth round, we beat Niigata 2 1. Then drew 3 3 with Shimizu. Then lost to Yokohama. Poor result there, considering they were 20th at that time. Uh, FC Machida, we won 2 0. Yokohama we then played again and beat them in the Emperor's Cup quarterfinal to win three that to go through to that after winning of three two. Uh, Vissel Kobe we beat two one. Uvari Red Diamonds we won seven two. Kasho we won four one. Asabuzo Osaka we won three one. Wata we won three one. And then we played Tokushima in the Emperor's Cup semi final and booked our place in the final where we won four one. Um, Tosu, we then drew 4-4, really poor result there. Um, Okiyama, we won 2-0. Kawasaki Frontale, we won 4-1. 4-0, I mean. And then we just recently played two third games. One against Nagoya, and one against recently relegated Gamba Osaka. At least I think they're recently relegated. And we drew that 1-1 and 2-2. So you might be telling with this results, where are we in the league? Well, we haven't lost many games. Uh, in ages, the only games we've actually lost since the Shonen in the league was the Yokohama, so we're really undefeated. Um, and we're kind of choking a slight bit because we could have easily have won the title in the past two games, but we choked and given two draws. We also choked against Tosso while we could have even uh, continued the lead. Uh, but because of those three draws in the past few games, Kyoto could catch up to us. So we realistically just need one point. Because Kyoto are uh, major goal difference behind 
it would need to win by about 10 nil, 9, 10, 11, 12 nil. And we would have to draw. Uh, if we lose and they win, then they've won the title. But we need to get, I'm hoping to get a win uh, and seal the title for us. It'll be FC Tokyo's first title if we do so. But we've booked ourselves into the Champions League for next season, which is what we're aiming to do. And hopefully now we can seal the victory in the next game against Sapporo to win the title in the league. And then another game against Sapporo in the Emperor's Cup final. Well, we'll get a trophy there as well, so we can do the double. But, let's get into the game. So the team going into this game, we've got Schlendler in goal. Um, he's not been the best in all honesty. He's played most games out of all the goalkeepers. Um, his other training's not been the best. But then so, is, hasn't, so wasn't Brodersen. So, we kind of needed more better goalkeepers. It's the ones that can get sevens in matches, which are rare for the goalkeepers, I found. Uh, with FC Tokyo. Now Aki Khan is our right back. We've got Seko and Besko Oveni as our two centre backs. Besko Oveni has been absolutely amazing all season. Um, Suki comes in as our left back. He's a player that recently just joined. Uh, he's already played 10 games got, and two off the bench, got three assists. Ogawa and Hachinari are our two DMs. I would play Karigatha, but he's slightly tired, so he'll be coming on in the second half. Uh, Hachiro can play quite well at DM in all honesty, but I would have preferred Kamigata in all, uh, and to be fair, because um, him and Ogawa have been brilliant. They were meant to be midfielders and AMCs, but I've trained them to be DMs and they've been absolutely amazing playing that position, so yeah. Vegeta comes in as a right back who's been amazing of late, so he really deserves the chance. He's also got up in, pretend in ability to three and a half star. Um, Jaja Silva, who hasn't played much this season because of injuries, uh, he's also gone down in coming ability from three and a half star to three star. Um, he comes in as our left winger. Then we've got Arito and Sakurai as our two strikers. Unfortunately, Kashiwagi, who is our main striker, uh, is unfortunately injured and won't be available for this game, which will be a big miss. Uh, and then on the bench, we've got Brodison, Kamagata. Kumata, Umiyama, Iwashita, Suzuki, Gustafsson. So yeah, hopefully we can win this game. Uh, I'll just say what the direct, uh, what the head assistant manager says, and I'll just say yeah, yeah, yeah. As Kyoto have gone all one nil into the lead. As we get a highlight right after that news, it is with Arita. Can he cross it in? Passes it to Agawa. Poor ball then, but he gets it back. Now it's good passing and it's a goal. Sakura scores, but is that offside? Hopefully not, because we need this goal. And uh, considering Kyoto are one nil up. And the goal is with the ball there. Brilliant choice referee. One nil at the break. I've just noticed Kyoto are drawing one one now. Um, it was one nil at a time, so hopefully we can continue. Uh, winning and they continue drawing. At the 56th minute, we'll make our first couple of subs. Ogawa is very tired, so Kamigata can come on for him. Jarjo Silva is also tired, so it was she who can come on for him. Uh, I reckon Arita can come off probably for Kamata. Just leave it at that for now. Quite a lot of subs, but hey, we have five to pick from. It's quite good. That's 64th minute. Sugi can be taken off for Suzuki. I reckon Umaya might be taking off for so take for Juta off and put Umaya, Umiyama on the left and they will shoot on the right. That could be all five subs as hopefully we continue winning this game. It's Kyoto Kobe goal um result is still one one. I like something at the minute. Hopefully we can get a goal here and seal our victory and seal us as champions as it's the Suzuki. Hachinoe gives it to Kamigata, Kamigata shoots and scores. And I've got that of most big smile on my face. Fortunately, the camera's still not available because it's still not technically Christmas time yet. It's not a big Christmas day, so I can't have my uh, microphone, uh, my, my new microphone, and all that to get it with my whole my uh, camera. 
86th minute, 4 minutes away, and plus at the time for being victorious in the J1 league. Seko passes it to Kamagata, to Suzuki, now with Umiyama, and now the ball to Ilshut is brilliant, and it's another goal, it's 3 0. We've probably sealed it now, surely. My three minutes will just whistle, this game's finished. So that support can get relegated. As we still have the ball, Hachinari gives it to Besko Raveni. Now with Suzuki, back to Besko Raveni. Now it's with Khan. Passes it to Umiyama. Still with Umiyama, gives it to Suzuki. He's been quite influential in this game. He passes it to Kamata. And it's a goal, but it's offside. To be honest, it looked onside to me. Then I might have the whole glasses of Esotokyo, which I probably had there because it was offside. Yeah, we have won the title away from home with the 3-0 victory against Sapporo. Even if we had drawn this game, it didn't matter because it looked like Kyoto at the last minute were drawing 1-1 with Vissel Kobe. But yeah, uh, we are given the trophy. even designed special like the J1 league. I don't know if that's base game or because I have like packs like edited packs and all that I don't know uh, graphic packs but yeah we're <laughs> champions I was expecting champions league this season and if we hadn't won it I got in there I would have been looking to leave but now that we've won we're probably going to do one more season in the Champions League, see how that goes, but we've already basically ticked off Japan, we've won the main title, now I can win the Plus Cup as well, but yeah, 3-0 victory, absolutely brilliant, we're champions, yeah, champions of Japan, FC Tokyo, and I'm going to skip ahead, which is quite a long way, all the way to the Sapporo game. And yeah, uh, hopefully we can win that as well. And I just noticed we've reached the Hall of Fame in in Japan. Two promotion titles with uh, Nagano and one J1 link title. Keeps us in ninth, 139 points. Quite far off as well do the Oliveira. Um, Who's manager? Who managed Kashima and won a load of titles? But yeah, hopefully we're going to catch up to them if we stay in Japan. That is right. We're back for the first of January and the match in the Emperor's Cup final. First off, some people have been uh, released. Sakin, who joined us uh, at the start of our tenure at FC Tokyo. Um, he joins us on 60,000. Played a lot against first season, but not much. Second season will eventually demote to the reserves. He's left on a free. Uh, Watanabe is also left on a free. Kajikawa, who was just doing stuff, and Ito, who was just doing stuff. Uh, well, Ito wasn't, but it wasn't in the first team. Uh, all of them have been released. There's no one in the staff. The youth, uh, we've had a few more lonely uh, youth players um, leave. Some of them could have got good, some of them couldn't. Um, two of them we couldn't agree details with because Dead Football couldn't agree terms and then uh, he kept trying to renew it and I was like, I can't help with you with this, I'm sorry. And so it's eventually both of them have both left. But some other things to quickly go on to. First off, I've named the ta this tactic. It's called the Indigo, Indigo Disc. Um, named after the Pokemon DLC that for you came out last year. Uh, or two weeks ago. For me, it came out two days ago. So yeah. Um, I'm naming after that. It's kind of similar because to the Theo Mask. Theo Mask came out. is a Pokemon DLC. And the same DLC section is... The Indigo Desk. So yeah. Also, something I failed to mention at the start of the episode. Um, we've got a new contract. So I think we were on about five or four thousand originally. And SCTK came in offering me a new contract. 
and it was like six thousand pound, and I was like, wow, that is a major increase, like two thousand more pound, more than I was expecting. I was expecting like four and a half, and I got six thousand. So yeah, uh, and then we've managed up it to seven thousand uh, with an addition of a ten percent added relegation wage drop. But if we get relegated, we're being sacked, so it doesn't really kick in. But yeah, seven thousand pound per week. Plus, if we win this match in the Emperor's Cup, we get sixteen thousand, and then we've also got eight uh, percent percentage of club competition for managerial role. So, if the club wants us now, they're going to have to pay just under £6,000 for it. Yeah, £7,000 a week. Uh, I've looked um, at all the other big clubs at least. Uh, we are probably the most paid manager in the J1 League. So, if we, FC Tokyo really do value our services and they're offering us the big money for just to stay here. But yeah, the team going in for the same game against Sapporo, but this time in the Empress Cup, is with Broderson in goal, coming in as our cup goalkeeper. Got Kan, Seke, Beskura, Veni, and Sugi all on the defences areas. Ogawa and Kamagata. Kamagata was quite believed to not be able to start because he was injured, but he's coming to fitness and can play. So they used to our DMs. We've got Fujita as our right winger, Iwashita as our left winger. Kashiwagi, who's come back from his Andre, he also come back from his international duty with Japan, where he played a few games in a competition or something. I forgot which competition it was now, I wasn't aware of it previously. Uh, but we also got Sakurai alongside him. Uh, on the bench, it's Shrendalar. Uh, Hachinawe, Iwata, Irita, Alabas, who is a youngster who joined us either this season or last season, last season, uh, halfway through the season last season. Uh, never played a game for us, but is really coming into good current ability, so he's been promoted to the first team. Uh, he could get his first ever start for us here, even if even in a big game. I, I would like to see him play if I get a chance. Uh, Haraguchi and Umemiyama are the other two players on the bench. So Lavis wants a thing. I'm going to give him the number 40. Are we getting into the, straight into the game? As I will say, the fans deserve the trophy. No one's reacted, so I'll, have, I'll say they only put a higher faith in everybody. I've got everybody, or almost everybody, motivated. 24th minute highlight. Sugi with the throne gives it to best go of any. Back to Sugi. Now with Sakurai, who was too slow, lost the ball, but thankfully Cam picks it up. That's with Kamagata. Sakurai's through, and he scores, but he's offside. He looked offside to me, but then I said that last time, and he was offside. But this one's a warder. We got 1-0 in, in the first half against Sapporo, as Suzuki with free kick for Sapporo. Comes it to Asasuma, back to Suzuki. Can we tackle him without giving penalties? It's with Asasumi shoots. Masahiro, Masahiro Asasuna scores to make it 1 1. Not a very good end to the half of it. It's ending up to be this way at the end of the half. I'm missing up my words, but I'm too excited. Another highlight for this point. Another free kick with Obar. Crossed in, and Saka scores. Tatsuki Seka, who I think is he an ex player for some. Uh, he seems familiar as Tavoli goes to Slough, but I have to just check it. Uh, did he play for Nagano or anything? No, I'm just. I think I've faced off against him. Uh, maybe uh, with Nagano or. Probably from the last game in all honesty, but yeah. Thankfully that was this loud. This half time we were lucky to be still be in this to be honest. I say this isn't good enough. Hopefully fire the players up. It's fiftieth minute, we'll make our first sub of the game. Um now Kikan's not had good games, so Iwata can come on for him. Sixty eighth minute probably make another couple of subs. Catch why he's had a poor poor game. So he has to be taken off surely for a Rita. 
and I reckon he or she could also be taken off for Haraguchi. I like first poor eye. Very scrappy, but we get the ball, and let's start with Kamagata. To Haraguchi, to Sugi. Every will play up from the back and get a goal. As it's with Kamagata, back to Sakurai. Through to Arita, and Arita scores, but it's offside, it looked offside. Are we going to get lucky and get another goal allowed for us from the VAR? No, no we're not. 2-1 goes back down to 1-1. One, one. I see yeah, it's extra time kick off. I'll say keep working hard. Getting people motivated. As I will make the sub straight away. We've got two subs to be made. So Kamigaki could be taken off for Hachinoe. And I read from Fujita. It cannot be placed, but Haraguchi can go on the right, Bin Miyama can go on the left. That'll be all our five subs for this game. 100th minute, Umiyama on the ball. He's tackled, and it's down with Kashahira. Sako. It could be intercepted by our Sako, but he's in. It's down with Hiramatsu, Fort Sapporo. All the way back to Mikado, and that was with Hiramatsu again. Hiramatsu, ah. Oh. Hiromatsu scores, but it's offside. Hopefully, please be offside. But the can't see his kit staying in for this tie. It's been disallowed. That's what, three goals disallowed now, or two or something? In this game? That's it's penalties. It's consistent to pick. Uh, Iwata is too nervous to be played, and Haraguchi is. Uh, probably move. Umayama, um, Baskovani down. So Baskovani will be, yeah, a bit like that. And like team thought. Uh, point finger, stay calm. Then we'll go. I have faith. I have the utmost confidence. I have faith in you. Everyone's motivated, which is brilliant to see. As we get underway with the first penalty, force power with Oba. And it's a good set goal. Broderson went the right way, but yeah, good goal. Good penalty. As now Saka will take hours. And he scores. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And also Kuroda for uh Sapporo. This is a good goal as well. Penalty. Now it's for Sakurai for us. He just perhaps gets it through the goalkeeper. That's with Tahara for Sapporo. Come on, Broderson. Oh, hits the post, and we are hopefully going to get an advantage now as Umayama hopefully scores. Will he? No, brilliant save. Well, not brilliant save, just poor penalty. As that's with Seko. Come on, Broderson, make a save. Nearly. And it's our best score of any. Probably our worst penalty from the top five, but it was composed. Because of that, he's... Oh, God. Uh, we just have to score this now, Sapporo, and they've won the Emperor's Cup. Come on, Broderson. Shows you that you're brilliant. Come the bro you need to be. Ah, oh, but it is not to be... Sapporo win the Empress Cup. But at the Empress Cup and the J1 League Cup. J1 League, I mean. I would take the J1 League, wouldn't you? I'll take the League and Champions League football for next season. Empress Cup and the J1 League Cup can come next season. And Sapporo get the trophy. Which we're not going to see. As I think I'm going to be disappointed with that. As my game's frozen. <laughs> Uh oh, don't freeze, I haven't saved it since we won the title. As unfortunately my laptop literally just completely went unresponsive for like 20 to 30 minutes then. I have no idea why. Hopefully the recording is still okay. Even with that little delay, well, what, probably not 20 to 30 minutes, probably like 15 to 10. Uh, of just pure, like, 
not black screen and not white screen or blue screen or anything, but just stuck on the same screen. Nothing was happening. Uh, it's, fi it's I think it's fixed itself now, but yeah, I'm just going to call it there. So unfortunately, we lost against Sapporo. Uh, but taking over, but I don't know if this came through in the video, but out of coming through uh, the J League, J1 League, and the Empress Cup, I'd definitely take the J1 League and Championship over the Jam Empress Cup Trophy. Um, Empress Cup Trophy in the J1 League, J League Cup for next season, alongside the Champions League. But yeah, I've been Matthew, also in Summer Hacks. If you have enjoyed this video, please give the video a like. It does help the channel a lot immensely. You can also subscribe to the channel as well and hit the bell for no bell notifications. Comment saying if you have a crash or like a stuck screen, a uh, frozen screen while playing FM this year. Uh, hopefully you haven't, and if you have, tell me how you fixed it. Um, but yeah, I've been Matthew, also in Summer Hacks. I'll see you all next time. Hex Sangal. Bye everybody.